Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Friday. We're coming at you with another 20 box break of 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball, Topps Chrome Update Baseball Mega Edition. This is the retail edition here. All 30 teams in, all card ship, and there's an early bird special here. The first 16 spots sold, 1 through 16 right here. We'll have a chance at a bonus spot just for being an early bird. You will get the worm after 11 times. Name on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11th and final time. After 11 times, congrats to Richard Miller. You are the early bird that has caught the worm. The delicious, delicious worm. Mmm, worms. All right, now let's grab everyone's names here. Pop them into this list here. Then we'll randomize your names. And we'll randomize the teams. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a two. Lucky seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we've got Marcus's last spot mojo spot on top. And Jason Bell in the 30 spot. Let's go to the team list tab. Five and a two, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and good luck. Seventh and final time. After seven times, the snakes on top. And the red legs on the bottom. Ed, Jason, that, those are your reds. There you go. All right, so Marcus with the Diamondbacks, James with the Indians, Jared, you got the Cardinals, Edwin with the Dodgers, uh, Levi with the Nats, Aaron with the Rays, White Sox for Aaron Pettit, Jason, you also have the Red Sox, James with the Pirates, Aaron with the Rockies, Anthony with the Astros, Richard with the Marlins, Josh with the Orioles, Brian with the Rangers, uh, Aaron with the Braves, Justin with the Yankees, Levi with the Angels, Richard with the Jays, Robert with the Cubs, Richard with your early bird spot, the San Diego Padres. That's pretty nice. Uh, Brian with the Tigers. Edwin with the Mets. Aaron with the Giants. Aaron uh, Andrew with the Mariners and the A's. Brewers for Lee. Robbie with the Twins. Darren with the Phillies. Robbie with the Royals. And Jason Bell with his Cincinnati Redlegs. Let's alphabetize this by team. And Jason Bell has the Red Sox up for trade if anybody's interested in like Michael Chavis's and whatnot. All right, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to grab all the boxes and see if there's any trades when we come back, uh, and then we'll start the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. Some A little bit of trade chatter, but at the end of the day, no trades. So that list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Again, this is Mega Box Edition, so no, no hits, no guaranteed hits inside each box, but... A lot of short prints, a lot of the, the top rookie. Rookie cards do pretty well in secondary market. And um, all cards ship, so you're going to get everything. So in case I miss like a variation or a short print, just know that they're all going to you, so don't have to worry about it. Here are all the boxes right here. There's one, two, three, four rows of one, two, three, four, five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We'll go a row of five at a time. And Jason Bell, happy. He was, before we started the video, he was just like, listen, if anybody gets the Reds, I'll trade for them, blah, 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 but Ram.org hooked you up. All right, good luck, everybody. Gilo, how do you guys get retail boxes? Isn't there some unwritten rule about hobby shops and retail products? If I tell you, Gilo, I'd have to kill you. We're rewriting re re the rules, Gilo. I actually don't. I have no idea. Um, my guess is that... I don't know. Maybe retailers sold these back to distributors? because they didn't want them. And then, I don't know. And then their distributors offer them to us. I guess that's how I, I assume we ended up with these. 
Like, it's not like we went to, like, Target and bought, like, 20 of these or 40 of these and sold them on our site. Fine. Josh Schmidt! What's going on, Josh? You're just in time to watch our, uh, Chrome update break. Mega box edition. Retail edition. Jason Bell says, at least you're not marking them up like some, some D's on Facebook groups. Wait, people are marking these up, Jason Bell? Damn it. Maybe I should have been marking these up. Why didn't you tell us this before, Jason? Oh, we could have let the, let the big old profits on Topps Update roll on in. What are we charging? I don't know. What, what, are, what are we charging? I'm sure we put a little markup on it. I guess you can do the math. 30, 30 or 29 spot. We gave away a spot. So 29 spots times whatever the cost of this thing was divided by the 20 boxes. Well, we did a couple flawless breaks, Josh Schmidt. A lot of, lot of big hits in there. been marking these up. I don't know. It, it's hard for us to mark it up to 60 bucks when it straight up says 20 right there. <laughs> that That's pretty bold for someone to do that. Even if it is pretty hard to find. Or just put it on eBay. 99 cent auction. Seven days. And just let it ride. Then I'm okay with that. Then the market dictates what the market is trying to sell oh, yeah. They move at that price? Son of a gun. Should, should we have moved them at that price? Oh my god. We could, we could have charged so much more for this. Damn it, Jason Bell. We are, we, Jaspies is a for-profit business. That's all right. We'll live. We'll live. We'll live on, I guess we'll have to live on parsnip soup cooked out of a tin can over a barrel fire. All right, good luck everybody. First five boxes here. So we're gonna breeze through these rather quickly. We're gonna try to set aside some of the, some of the nicer ones like that Keston Hira, Eloy Jimenez. At Keston Hira for the Brewers, for Lee, got randomized, number to 40 out of 50. Nice. Yeah, that's right, Steve Molina. Cabbage water, get my old stick and bindle, and then ride the rails from town to town. Looking to see if anybody needs a, a case breaker.
Oh, let me find, let me dig up that. This Chavis? I pull it. That one? I don't know. All card chip, ladies and gentlemen. So if, you, if I miss anything, I haven't memorized what all the variations are, but if I miss anything, you'll get them. What's my guess, Josh is asking for, Steelers against the Rams this week? I say, I say Rams. And an autograph, Andrew Benintendi autograph, Jason Bell tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Now, autographs are few and far between in these retail boxes. It's, not, yeah, it's a pretty solid one for, for one of these. And Richard Miller, you'll be getting all those Vlad Guerrero Juniors, of course. Everything ships. Update is one of those products where, oh, and a Cardinal, Ryan Helsley. Another autograph. That's for Jared and the Redbirds. I was going to say, these are the kind of products where these, uh, does that seem off to you? Oh, maybe not. It's just off in the top of it. Where the rookie cards and the numbered cards could, could carry a lot of value set like this. You know, and we'll, if you gather enough of these, some of these may be gradable, might grade out at a really nice grade. That's kind of what you're looking for and stuff like this. Just regular, there's not, they're not numbered, but they look like they're, they're refractory though, but not specifically out of four ninety nine or whatever they, they do it at sometimes. All right, first five in the book. Books, and here is the second set of five. Good luck, everybody. Oh, you got the Padres, too? Miller saying, usually I'm going for Mets, but I'm okay getting randomized Blue Jays. You did get Blue Jays and Padres. Padres are your early bird spot. I mean, a couple... I mean, with how inexpensive this break is, with a couple uh, Tatis Jr., cards here and there. Might even might cover the spot pretty easily. One of those grades out really nice. And cover all the spots. You totally lucked out, man. Not only did you get the early bird spot, that early bird spot turned into the turned into the Padres. All right, I asked this question earlier, and I'll ask this question right now. Garrett Cole, where does he go? He's one of the big top free agents. Uh, MLBTradeRumors.com has Garrett Cole going to the Angels. Eight years, $256 million. That's a lot. What's the, what's the, what's the average annual AV on that? 256 divided by eight? 32 a year. That's not too bad, actually. Eight years feels a little long.
but the average annual value sounds about right. All right, here's the next five. That'll be the big name on the market. I wonder if the Dodgers will go for them. I feel like the Dodgers aren't the kind of team that likes to put that, that amount of years and money to a player, but I don't know. After a couple failed World Series attempts and an early exit from the playoffs this year, I feel like they really got to shake things up a little bit, kind of freshen up the squad, you know, get some new names out there in my opinion. Rex, what's up? You talk to the wife about Drew Brees. Your wife talk about Drew Brees often? Just sit around the table? And she told me that before we got together, your stepdaughter went bowling with him for some for this thing at Purdue? That's pretty cool. I heard Drew Brees is a pretty stand up stand up gentleman. Yeah, Gilo's like, man, if I you have to deal with Mike Trout and Garrett Cole on the same team. Don't forget about Shohei Otani. Don't forget about Joe Adele coming up the ranks. Sean Corbett has heard through the grapevine that Drew Brees kicks puppies. Especially pug puppies? No. That's terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, pug fans, Bubba the Pug should be making an appearance next week for a few days. We'll probably be snoozing around on that, around on that couch over there during our breaks. So look out for that. He'll try to help sell some breaks. I, I find it hard to believe that Drew Brees would do that though around a, a pug puppy of all things. It's awful. I mean, no puppy should be kicked. But definitely not pug puppies. Five boxes. It kind of went off the rails there. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Vlad Guerrero Jr. See different variations right there. Oh, I see. It's secret. Oh, I see. This is this this. It's starting to reveal itself. Sean saying that's the reason why the Chargers let him walk. If that's what helps you sleep at night, Sean. And Michael Chavis, 143 out of 150. That is for Jason Bell. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Satis Jr. right here. Pete Alonzo.
Eloy. Keston, key boom. And Harold Ramirez, purple, 42 out of 175. That's for the fish, Richard Miller, with the Miami Marlins. That was our first Tatis Jr. we've seen in this. All right. Next five boxes. Apparently, 10 players receive qualifying options today. Jose Abreu. Madison Bumgarner, Garrett Cole, Josh Donaldson, Jake Odorizzi, Marcelo Zuna, Anthony Rendon, Will Smith, Giants, Reliever, Strasburg, and Wheeler. Uh, you know, I don't know how many autos it is per case, Jason, because they don't come in cases. They just come in loose boxes like this. So when we opened up the box we got from our distributor, there were just 40 of these loose boxes. And I just grabbed a random 20, and that was one break from earlier that we did today. And then grabbed the second set of 20 we're doing for this one, random team two. I don't think, there's, there's no case configuration for this, I'm pretty sure. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. What other new baseball news do we have here is the hot stove. Join us all winter long, ladies and gentlemen. We'll always be talking talking baseball. With NY Future Unclear, another team eyeing Didi Gregorius, apparently. What team? Oh, good job, MLB.com. I've clickbaited. You got me. You got me. Oh, from the interest from the red legs. That's right. We remember that. Braves re-signed Righty O'Day to a one-year deal. Oh, this looks interesting. 30 teams and 30 candidates for 2020 Rookie of the Year. So in case you're uh, thinking about, hey, who could be a sneaky good rookie target for next year? Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. All right, I've heard of him. What about Ryan Mountcastle? Looks like Mountcastle is going to start working his way into an everyday role, perhaps, for the Orioles. Bobby Dalbeck for the Red Sox. Brendan McKay for the Rays. Two-way player. He can pitch. He can hit. For the Yankees, Debbie Garcia. In the AL Central, Indians, Bobby Bradley, Royals, Brady Singer, Tigers, Casey Mize. Is Casey Mize going to start next year? I guess he came out of college, so I guess he may be, he may be ready to go. 
Bruce Dar Graterall for the Twins, Luis Robert for the White Sox. I know there's a lot of Luis Robert love when his products or his autos first came out in Bowman Draft. A's, Chase Luis Lizardo, Angels, there you go, Sean, your Angels, Joe Adele. Um, gosh, who should be, is he going to play, is he going to start next year? If he has a decent spring, I think they'll put him, put him on the team. Astros, Forrest Whitley, I know we've been seeing his name for years. So he's finally going to get some regular action. Mariners, Justin Dunn. Rangers, Joe Plum, uh, Palumbo. Braves is Christian Pash. And that, that that's kind of a bigger name there too. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. They got from the Phillies in that JT Real Muto trade. David Peterson, Mets. Carter Keyboom, Nationals. We've been seeing some Carter Keybooms in here. So those are those are holds. On Carter Keyboom. He could be the next big thing. Spencer Howard for the Phillies. For the Brew Crew, Drew Rasman. Rasmussen, that is. Cardinals, Dylan Carlson. Cubs, Nico Herner. I think still has rookie eligibility next year, so he could be. He had a, he had a nice start to his career, too. Pirates, Mitch Keller. Uh, Reds, Nick Lodolo. And the NL West, John Duplantier. Who's one of their big pitching prospects? We've seen his name a little bit over the years. Gavin Lux could be a rookie of the year candidate for the Dodgers next year. Joey Bart for the Giants. Is, he, is Joey Bart? Are they going to start putting him into action? Hmm. Maybe. I guess he was drafted in 2018, so he might be ready to go. Padres, Mackenzie Gore, Rockies, Brendan Rodgers. Oh, yeah, Brendan Rodgers. We've seen his name forever. He seems like he's been a prospect for a decade, at least as far as the hobby goes. But I think he had a torn labrum last year. And then now he should be kind of ready to show what he can do for that for that Rockies team. All right, there you go. There's all 30 teams right here. And here are the next five boxes. Joe Adele next to Mike Trout. You know, Justin Upton still still there, right? He can still he can still contribute. That'd be a pretty interesting outfield. There's Adam Odovino for the Yankees to 175. That will be for Justin Humphrey. There's Keyboom. We we're just talking about him. Levi with the Nationals. Pete Alonzo, Nick, more Nick Senzel. It's a different variation on that key boom. Kesten Hira. And here throwing the ball. It's also a different variation. And once again, all card chips. So just in case you see me miss one, you'll get it. Ooh, look at this. Michael Chavis autograph. No one wanted the Red Sox. Two autographs out of here for the Red Sox. That Ben Intendi from earlier. And now a Michael Chavis for Jason Bell. Nice. Yes, Robbie, it sure is. No, not numbered on that, Michael Chavis. And all those Kestons, of course, will go to Lee and the Brew Crew. Or another Tatis Jr. I haven't seen too many of those. That's numbered though, that's a 250. Yeah, not numbered. But still nice, because the autos in this mega edition are very few and far between. Let's 
sleeve all these a little bit later. Let's get to the last five boxes, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Good gut instinct, Jason. I know. He wanted to trade, Ryan. Nobody gave him an offer. He's like, Red Sox up for trade. Crickets. Nothing. Everyone had an, Everyone who was listening had an opportunity to make an offer. Uh, you would have? Oh, you're in New England? What What would you have offered him? I wonder if Jason would have taken that trade. Your teams, Miller, were Marlins and Jays with the spots you bought straight up. And then the Padres were your early bird spot. Ooh, one of the two bigger teams. Jason, would you have done a Padres or Blue Jays for Red Sox trade? I would imagine he would have. That would have been interesting. You would have probably for the Jays. Yeah, I mean, if, if I think Jason Bell's in our Facebook group, so if you're a Red Sox fan like Miller and you m maybe want to make an offer on something, there's the group Facebook group in the chat right there. If you click that link, we'll approve, approve everybody at the end of the evening. trash space here too. Oh yeah, maybe you can find Jason through our Instagram as well. Sean, you need to create a face. Yeah, I, n I know Facebook's not the it's not the most ideal. I wish there was a slightly better way to have like a marketplace. But because if you don't like Facebook, if you don't want it, then but just for just for collecting purposes, Sean. Yeah, it it's a pretty good resource, and I think there's enough like vetting that that Facebook does just so you know the people you're interacting with are actually like real. As opposed to just trying to figure it out in the chat. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about my Raiders. Jason Bell was watching that game last, last night. Very pleased. I would like. I would think that the Raiders, in my opinion, are are ahead of schedule. 
Last five boxes, ladies and gentlemen. I think they're ahead of schedule, which, which I'm happy with. Still have a lot of work to do. I think they got to add, you know, some more, a couple more offensive pieces here and there. A wide, maybe a wide receiver. Maybe, I don't know, you can't run Josh Jacobs a million times a game, but maybe another running back for a change of pace. But defense, I think, is definitely something that the Raiders really need to address, and I think that'll be the bulk of their offseason and their free agent window uh, at the end of the year, too. There's Merrill Kelly, rookie auto for Marcus. Last spot mojo for Marcus. He got randomized the Diamondbacks, and he gets an autograph. So, I'm happy. What, a lot of court dates and suspensions in the future for the Raiders? No. This is a new Raiders team, Sean. Not like the not not like your your our fathers' Raiders team. This is the new new Raiders. Doesn't happen anymore. Watch tomorrow and be like, some Raider will get popped. I know it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be difficult in Vegas. Um, Kevin Biggio, is that what you were talking about, Ryan? I think he'll. I mean, he's got pedigree, right? That's gonna be an interesting team. You got Kevin Biggio, Vlad Guerrero Jr. I think Bo Bichette will be pretty good. There's Gary Sanchez, X Fractor to one ninety nine. Yankees, that'll be for Justin Humphrey. There's Cool Whit Merrifield, blue to one fifty. That's for the Royals. That's going to go to Robert. Robbie Tolliver with that one. It's a little bit of color here at the end, too. Sorry, Keston. I don't know. I think he had it. I mean, I don't think he's... What's it, What's his ceiling? I don't think his ceiling is Guerrero Jr. That's not his ceiling, right? Not even as high as Bo Bichette. But if you get... I don't know what you can get out of him. If you get get like, you know, above average, like you get a, a win above replacement out of him, you know, and a good glove, I'm sure people would take that. I'm sure. And I mean, it's just, you can't, everyone can't be a superstar. You got to have a little depth too. I think Kevin Biggio could, could at least provide that. Timely hitting every once in a while. Just a good, solid, professional hitter. Get an all-star or two out of him. That would be pretty cool. And, Another parallel, Charlie Blackman to 199 for the Rockies, Aaron Pettit. And Austin Riley and Roger Clemens. At the end, Clemens has a, I think Cody or Casey is in the Blue Jays organization too. So Blue Jays have a lot of pedigree in their organization. They're, they're going to field they're gonna field a team with a Guerrero, a Bichette, a Clemens, and a Biggio, right, among others. So that'll be kind of weird to see on the field if they're ever all together at once. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a 20-box mega edition, Random Team 2 from jazbeescasebreaks.com of 2019 Tops Update Chrome at Baseball. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And we will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.